welcome back to Irresistible Me's YouTube channel. Today I'm here with a get the look video. So in this video today I'm going to show you guys how to get Lana Del Rey's signature look. Of course I've used a little bit of help from a Irresistible Me full lace wig to get the real Lana Del Rey effect. So the wig I have on today is the Irresistible Me full lace wig. Now this is 100% human hair so of course you can style it and do whatever you want with it and it just looks and feels like real hair. It's amazing. This is a 150% density wig and it is 20 inches long. It's also in the shade Golden Blonde. So if you guys want to know how to get this look then just keep on watching. Okay, so to make this video a little bit quicker, I have already started with my foundation, a little bit of concealing, and my eyebrows already applied. With my eyebrows today, I did use a reference picture of Lana Del Rey and tried to kind of copy her brows as best as I can. In quite a few of Lana's signature makeup, she has quite a defined cat liner wing. So I'm going to share with you guys my favorite tip to get the perfect sharp crisp cat liner. Sticky tape. Basically any kind of sticky tape you want, scotch tape or whatever is going to work perfectly and this is going to be our guide for the eyeliner. So I'm taking a few pieces. You can apply the pieces to the back of your hand a few times if you want to get rid of some of the tackiness or if you prefer it to be more sticky, just apply it straight to the side of your eye. So apply it in the shape and the angle that you want the liner to be on. Just be sure to make sure that the angle is the same on both eyes because you don't want to have one eye up here and one eye down there. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going to take the white chocolate shade but basically any matte light shade will be fine. So I'm going to apply a wash of this all over my eyelid but mainly concentrating the colour on the actual lid. So next I'm going to go in just with a kind of medium brown colour. This is going to help be my transition colour. So looking at reference pictures, her eyeshadow is always quite kind of rounded and circular. Not so much elongated out, but more circular to make her eyes appear a lot bigger and more kind of doe-like. So basically what I'm doing is elongating the eyeshadow upwards into the centre of my lid, making that point of the shadow a little bit higher than what I normally would. Try and focus the darker colours as well in the outer portion and also the inner portion of your eye. And don't forget to try and keep that circular shape. Go back in with the lighter shade and then just dust away any harsh lines around the outskirt of your eye. So now on to eyeliner. I'm just using a gel liner and using that sticky tape as a guide. Remove the tape. Now I'm just lining the rest of my eyes where the eyeshadow raises in the center of my eyes for that doe eyed look. I'm doing my eyeliner slightly thicker in that area as well just to really emphasize the doe eyes. Now I'm very lightly lining my lower lash line, not my waterline, just the lash line with some black liner, diffusing the liner with some brown eyeshadow and then going in with a honey toned eyeliner on my waterline. Finish off your eyes with some big false lashes and plenty of black mascara. Now on to contouring. If you want to go for the full Lana Del Rey effect like I have, I'm using a reference picture of her face and using contouring and highlighting to try and mimic her facial features onto my face as best as I could. Then I'm going in and blending that all out with a big soft foundation brush. Then if need be you can go over the top with a bit of powder contour or powder highlight just to set that cream product. And then finish off with a little bit of blush and then go in with some lipstick. So basically I'm lining my lips to try and mimic her lips as much as I can, filling them in with lipstick and plenty of gloss as well. Then if you really want to get pedantic about it, you can take a little bit of concealer and go around the outside of your lips just to neaten it all up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is hair. Obviously this hair isn't very Lana Del Rey, so I'm going to put on my absolutely gorgeous 
Irresistible Me wig. Now is your chance if you need to, just style the wig a little bit. I know Lana Del Rey kind of has a bit of an undone look, so I have just very lightly curled this wig. But of course, to finish off the look, it's not Lana Del Rey without a flower crown. <laughs> so I'm just going to place this flower crown on top of my head, secure it with a few bobby pins. <laughs> guys thank you so so much for watching I really do appreciate it as always don't forget to check out the description box below for links to all of the social media channels the website where you can purchase this beautiful wig so thank you guys I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next video bye